It's very curious. A lot of times when I'm traveling around the back roads in Nevada, I'll come across something Basque. A lot of time it's a restaurant. And I've always wondered, what's that doing here? Well, today I'm at the University of Nevada, Reno to brush up on my Basque studies. Generations ago, a people brought their culture, their cuisine, and their sheep to Nevada. Thanks to some dedicated scholars and descendants, the Basque way of life remains alive and well. Bill, what a pleasure Hi. to see you today. Thanks for meeting me out here. Uh, my pleasure. Now, the Basque culture, as mm -hmm. it relates to the United States, goes back how far? It goes back to Columbus's first voyage, if you want, which was uh, the Santa Maria was built in the Basque shipyard. And a lot of the exploration of the California coast and all the way up to Alaska was conducted by Basque seafarers. Some of those guys started sheep operations and they started roaming about what were public lands. The Basque sheep herders roamed the ranges, just them, their flock, their trusty dogs, and maybe a mule and some literally left their mark on the land. While on the summer ranges, the herders were oftentimes up in country with aspen groves, and they would draw an image or a message in the bark, and then as the tree grew, that scar would produce the image. And basically, they were doing it to pass time. I mean, they were by themselves. They were constantly fighting boredom and fighting, you know, essentially insanity. Anthropologists call these carvings arboglyphs, and some date back to the early 1900s. The aspen carvings could be just the sheep herder's name, or much more. He might do one of his farmhouse back in the old country, or it could be pornographic. Now this center, we could call this world famous, couldn't we? Yeah, the book collection, I think it's about 45,000 volumes and, and thousands of photographs and memorabilia and journals. So scholars come from Latin America, they come from Europe, they come from throughout the United States to use these books. This Basque collection is critical to keeping the Basque culture alive, especially since the Basque don't have a homeland in Europe. The traditional territory straddles both France and Spain. What are your hopes and dreams for this center? going forward. I would like to see this place continue to contribute to Basque American cultural heritage to the extent that we continue to underpin Basque identity throughout the United States. And so the future of this place is also in the hands of Basque Americans who haven't been born yet. Bill, you've done your part and your passion <laughs> lives on. Thank you very much for your time today. I really do appreciate it. My pleasure. Following in Bill's footsteps and leading the Center for Basque Studies into its next chapter is Javier Iruo. Tell me a little bit about your family and your, your roots, if you would, where you're from. Mm -hmm. I'm Basque, but I come from a family that has been exiled six times in five generations. So we are all over the world. And that is because of the European, you know, political instability in the last 200 years, too many dictatorships. The last one being the rage, the Nazi rage. So my grandparents indeed escaped from Europe to come to the Americas for freedom and safety. Tell me more about the, the Basque culture. What's it like? <laughs> well, I guess that the Basque culture is very dense. That's the first characteristic. People are very much together, like a family. Everyone is secure in the sense that there is always someone backing that person. And then, of course, culinary arts is an important part of the culture. And Basque people tend to live a good full life, don't they? Yeah. Basque women are one of the longest living human groups in the world. Really? The Basque, really? <laughs> What's the average age of, of the Basque woman? It is 87. 87. And it is growing four months per year. That means that the young Basque lady today is not going to die. <laughs> in the heart of Reno, Rancho San Rafael holds the national monument to the Basque sheep herder. The sheep herder and his lamb have stood here in homage to the Basque people since 1989. The sculpture is a monument to our ancestors, the ones who came here pioneering Basque migration to, the, to Nevada, and uh, they had a harsh life. They worked very hard for their children not to be sheep herders anymore, and this monument is a way of saying thank you to them. And you knew the artist. Yeah. The artist of this sculpture is Nestor Basterrechea, and his family went to exile with my family on the same boat that was stopped 
in the middle of the Atlantic by a German U-boat and almost sank. But they got, in the end, the Americas, uh, the land of freedom. What do you see as the future of the Basque culture in Nevada? Well, I think it has a great future. It has a great past and a great future. I think that uh, the Basques in Nevada are now completely melted in this uh, society, but looking to the homeland at the same time, so trying to enrich this uh, territory with uh, well, their uh, cultural traditions, what can be called the invisible pack, let's say, the, the, the traditions, the, the elements that make up that uh, what we call Basque culture. You talk about family and friendships in your culture. I hope that you consider me part of that conversation. Oh, Thank yeah. you so much for meeting me out here today. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you to you. <laughs> One of the oldest languages in the world and the oldest living language in Europe, Basque, or Euskara, teaches resilience and the power of tradition. The Basque have enriched Nevada, not only with sheep's wool, but also with culture. Where would Nevada be without the Basque culture? And where would the Basque culture be without Nevada? Uh, the word is less. This is the National Monument of the Basque Sheep Herders. It's a, a list of people who have fought for and continue to fight for the health and the vibrancy of the Basque culture in America and all across Nevada. Also that we can enjoy it and experience it today. <laughs>